My name is Michael Grinder, and I thought I'd have a little fun with you talking about nonverbal communication. Of all the nonverbal patterns we've ever come up with, the most popular one is the idea of what's called two-point or three-point. Now, what does that mean, and why is it so important? We've been overtrained in too much eye contact. We've been trained from birth, especially females. Eye contact, it indicates you care indicates that you are communicating clearly and you're supporting the other person. Well, I'm here to tell you that sometimes it's better not to make eye contact. So what is eye contact and what does it do in terms of the communication between two people? Well, if two people are looking at each other, you're on what's called the relationship level of the communication. If you have some volatile issues that you need to cover, Eye contact increases the emotions. So if the volatile information you have to cover is positive, such as I love you, then you really want to increase the amount of intensity of the eye contact. But if the issues are negative or volatile or could explode in a bad way, it's better not to make eye contact. And this goes against everything we've ever been trained. Please, try it. Don't believe me. Try it. The next time you have some information you have to deliver, such as performance assessment, don't look at the person. Look at the paper. Let the paper communicate the bad stuff. Why? So that you can be the facilitator between the recipient and the information they're receiving. You're a salesperson. You have some bad news to break to the client. It's going to cost more money, take a little longer than you thought, can't deliver on time. Have this break it so you can preserve the relationship. So when you have two people and they're looking at each other, since there's two people, eye contact, the technical term, is called two-point communication. If there's two people plus the paper, there's three parts involved, so it's called three-part communication. Try it, see what a difference it makes. Now, I would have made this a lot earlier in my career, but I just couldn't afford professional actors. So I, I brought in these two professional actors and they're showing you a two point and a three point just so you can remember it. Now they want a lot of publicity on this. I mean they really wanted me to do text so that they're famous. So here goes. Here's the text. I just can't figure out how to give paper figures a three point communication. Michael Grinder here. Nonverbal communication, our website is www.michaelgrinder.com. This all comes from a book called The Elusive Obvious, subtitle, The Science of Nonverbal Communication. Hope you enjoy it.